So when you're using a quest or quest two for the first time, you may feel a little overwhelmed by the menus. So when you start to use the quest or quest two, there is a tutorial uh, to help you navigate the controls and gives a little information about like setting up your play space. But there isn't a long tutorial about the menus. So let's talk about the menus for a little bit. So this video is designed specifically for teachers who are going to use a Quest or Quest 2 for their classes, which means uh, there are a lot of features that you will not use just as a, as a school rather than a private user. So what you see featured most prominently is this Explore window. So we're going to ignore the Explore window. So uh, friends, all of these uh, apps that you could buy uh, will not be very important to you because you are here for a specific educational purpose. Let's turn instead to this, uh, the Universal Toolbar, and see what's available here as well. So first we have Explore. That is the window here. As I said, you do not need to pay attention to it most of the time. We have a store where you could buy new apps, Sometimes you might need to, but again, it's unlikely you'll do it through the headset. You'll just want to use the, um, the website. Uh, Messenger, so to use your Facebook account to send messages. Again, you will not be using that uh, as an educator. And then sharing. Uh, sharing, let's cover in a different video, but this is uh, taking pictures and recording. Let's go right to the end, and this is the apps menu. So this is where you're going to do most of your work. So please click apps. So when you open the apps window, you're going to see the different apps that are available on your headset or connected to your account. So perhaps some of them haven't been downloaded, so you'll see an install button. So for example, I have a free app BOGO, uh, which if I click, I could install. Uh, sometimes uh, you will need an update an update. So here for Remio, it says there's an update available. So when I click either of those, uh, I will go through an install or update. And while that's happening, I can continue to search. But most of the time, your app will be ready. Uh, so you'll go ahead and click on it and it will open. So uh, these are for apps that you get uh, either through the main Oculus store uh, but also the apps, uh, the app lab, uh, which is kind of um, an aside to the main Oculus store. So the app lab is open to uh, many more developers uh, who uh, don't want to sell their product uh, commercially or it hasn't gone through the rigorous vetting process uh, of others. So if you download something from the Oculus store or the app lab, it will appear here. Uh, you can organize them in different ways, so recent, A to Z, or Z to A. Here, uh, on the top right corner, we see all of these different, uh, all of these different options. Uh, you really don't need to worry about it, just leave all open. However, if you're familiar with SideQuest, uh, some might appear in unknown sources. For example, uh, we have an app here uh, that isn't on the App Lab or on the Oculus Store, so it goes under unknown sources. So there are some warnings, but most of the time, those are apps that you put there, so likely it won't be a problem. So uh, since we're here, uh, we do have tutorials if you want to become more familiar uh, with how to, use, um, how to use the controllers uh, or your hands, or your hands, maybe I get my hand to appear, but anyway, uh, both first steps and hands, so if you're still uncomfortable with controllers, go ahead and try those. Uh, they do a much better job than uh, any tutorial on YouTube would do. Okay, so that is it for navigating the menu for your purposes. Uh, I'll see you in a future video.